Hi, this is Justin with the SketchupEssentials.com. Um, today I'm going to go through another uh, SketchUp tutorial for you. Uh, this one's about drawing faces. So um, in my last tutorial I talked about drawing lines in SketchUp, um, and you can check that out here. So line, lines are objects that travel between two points, so they don't have an area or anything like that. They just go from one point to the other. So this line just goes from this point to this point, but there's no uh, second dimension to that. So uh, today what I want to talk about is uh, adding that second dimension and drawing faces. So basically uh, what a face is, is anytime you have three lines in SketchUp, three or more lines that create a closed in space, um, SketchUp's going to draw a face in there. And basically what that is, is just a shaded in area. So, I mean, for example, if I draw a triangle, if I use three lines, if I draw a line from here to here, and then uh, I close this in, if you notice, SketchUp draws a face in here, so it shades this in. Um, and this is kind of an automatic thing. You can't stop SketchUp from doing this. Anytime you've got three or more lines that create a closed-in shape um, that are on the same plane, it's going to draw a face in between them. So on a closed in object, the shaded in portion is called the face, and then these lines that create create the outside are called the bounding edges. They're just the edges that create the boundary around your shape. So if you come in here and you delete one of these lines, um, that face goes away, So because you don't have that third line anymore creating that boundary. So um, anytime you want to get rid of a face, uh, one way you can do that is to uh, delete one of the bounding edges so that it doesn't create a closed-in shape anymore. Um, and the nice thing about SketchUp is that uh, if you want that face to come back, all you have to do is close this shape back in. So you know you can get rid of that or close it back in as many times as you want to, and SketchUp always behaves exactly the same. So uh, I want to talk for just a second about selecting a face, um, because a face is just like any other object in SketchUp. So if you click on these lines, you know, they're blue, that means they're selected. Well, if you click on this face, it's kind of the same thing. You see how it gets shaded in? Um, that's because you've selected the face. So uh, another way that you can get rid of a face, besides deleting one of the bounding edges, is you can select it by clicking once, and then you can hit the delete key on your keyboard, and as you see, that face goes away. So if you ever just want to delete a face out without deleting lines, you can just click on it and hit the delete key. And uh, one other thing I want to talk about is if you delete that um, and you want it to come back, um, you can either undo deleting it or you can also just retrace over one of these lines. As soon as you do that, then SketchUp will automatically put that face back. So if you ever delete a face out and uh, you still have these points creating a closed-in shape, all you have to do is trace over one of these lines and SketchUp will draw the face again for you. So uh, let's talk a little bit about dividing a face. So you've got this, you've got this face in here, right? And uh, let's say you wanted to cut it in half. So all you do is you draw a line from here to wherever you wanted your point to be. And if you see this this uh, selection unselected and this stayed selected, that's because SketchUp split this into two different faces. So um, if you ever need to divide a face, that's how you do that. And then uh, if you ever decide that you don't want your face divided, all you have to do is delete this line and it goes back to one face. So one other thing about faces uh, that I want to talk about is they have a front and a back side. So uh, if you rotate down to the underside of this, you'll see that the, the other side of the shape is white. So there's actually a front and a back to faces in SketchUp. So sometimes you'll draw things like, let's say you went ahead and uh, made this into a second shape. Sometimes you'll draw things and they'll show up as different colors like this. You see how this is kind of a white and this is a dark gray. That's because this piece has the back side of the face pointed towards you and this has the front side of the face pointed towards you. So uh, if you ever get that and you, you want everything to look uniform, all you have to do is select your face, uh, right click and go down to this reverse faces option. If you see that kind of flips everything around so that everything looks the same. So if you ever get that 
where uh, you've got objects that are uh, partially partially dark shaded and partially light shaded. All you need to do is flip the face over so the front side of the face is facing you. So one of the reasons this is important, and we're not going to get too deep into this right now, but when you're dealing with rendering, uh, like photorealistic rendering software, uh, it messes, messes stuff up if you don't have the front face facing out. Uh, things don't necessarily render properly. So uh, it's always kind of a good practice uh, to have the front side of your face facing out or facing towards you and having the back side of the face on the side that you can't see. So, you know, as much of your model as you can have the uh, light side of your face is facing you instead of the dark side. That was just a real, real quick uh, overview of dealing with faces in SketchUp. Uh, hopefully you like this tutorial. If you did, uh, please take a second and like this below. You can also check out thesketchupessentials.com um, for more SketchUp tut tutorials and other resources. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next tutorial. Thanks.